What's up YouTube? This is Otis RHW. I'm doing a quick how to and app review on Mobile Air Mouse Pro. Um, you can get this in the App Store. This is the website you want to go to www.mobileairmouse.com. And when you go there, you want to. Let me grab this mouse real quick. You want to scroll down here and depending on what OS you're using you want to download one of these two host softwares for your PC this is what allows you to connect to your PC um, Air Mouse is a turns your iPad, iPhone, or iPod touch into a mouse for your PC or Mac computer so that's the first thing you do is you go and download one of those two host softwares then go ahead and get the app in the app store then once you have the app I'm going to show you on the iPad here today um, you're going to have an application like this this is the air mouse mobile air mouse so then you'd open this application. Um, on the iPad, I never had a problem on the iPhone. But on the iPad, I've been having to do this. I don't know if it's a bug. But every time... Uh, well, let me tell you one thing here first. You want to make sure that this Air Mouse is installed and running for it to work. So you're going to... If you're on Windows 7, you're going to go here, Vista or anything, just look at your programs that are running. This is my server settings. It's You can see it's in here. It's running. Let me zoom in on that for you. If it's in this box, it's a running program right now. So that's my mobile air mouse on my PC. Alright, so we got that. Then you open up the application on your device, and this is what you'll have here. You see you got on the bottom, you got all your icons. These, you can touch these, and they get bigger, so you can see what they are better. And then if you just tap on one it'll open it so let's say I want to open iTunes give it a little touch and now iTunes just opened on my computer and then if you want to play um, this is one thing that I was talking about with the bug every time I open this I have to go in and touch that it automatically connects but the mouse will be real laggy and it like skips around if I don't do that for some reason okay so then um, if you want to play a song you just touch play now it's playing my playing the song right now I'm gonna press pause on the iPad and then it stopped the song. Alright, so up here. I hope you guys can see that. You got Visualizer, Full Screen, Genius, Shuffle, Store, Cover Flow, List, Menu. You can eject your disc. You got Volume here, Menu. Here that pops up the menu of whatever. If you... If you have Windows Media Player set as your default it'll, media player, it'll play from that. Um, but we got that. And then this right here is the browser toolbar. Um, you got to close, refresh, go back, um, zoom in, home, go forward a page, favorite. Our bookmark, www, 
got your tabs here plus and minus I think that zooms in the screen um, so then if you wanna let's see then right here it's probably you guys probably can't even see them but on the sides of the screen right here above my finger on this side and on this side over here it's got little scroll pad things they're black though so it's really hard to see that'll scroll the page up and down but see my mouse on here now I'm touching my pad and it's doing everything on the on the PC there so if I want to go up here I'm on my iPad right now I'm going to close these close iTunes and as you can see when you drag your finger around there's a little yellow light under it so uh, it's an awesome program works great if you want to like sit on your couch like I got my laptop hooked to my TV so if you chill on your couch like that it's a wireless mouse and keyboard um, did I show you guys the keyboard? No. Here's the keyboard right here. It also works right now. I have it vertical, but it it works in landscape. Makes it a tiny bit easier to type. But actually, with this new iPad, I can type pretty fast with two hands. It's just use three fingers on each hand. Seems to work for me. Um, once again, it's Air Mouse. Uh, you can check it out in the App Store. I'll put the links to their homepage and the App Store. And the more info underneath this video, click the little arrow. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, and about the jailbreak um, for the iPad, I'll be updating that the second I hear about it. So make sure you subscribe if you want to get the info as soon as I get it. Alright, thanks.